Welcome to this USD Bioinformatics course on career opportunities. We will be discussing some of the ins and outs of bioinformatics as a career. By the end of this section, you will all know the diversity and opportunity available through this path. Biotechnology, an important part of bioinformatics, is any technological application to biological systems, living organisms, or derivatives thereof. One part of bioinformatics could include the data management of biotechnology. So who has the skill set to accomplish such tasks? Anyone with an initial background in biological sciences, computer sciences, or another derivative domain can head for a career in bioinformatics. Today, there are countless employers looking for bioinformaticians. The arrows indicate categories of bioinformatics work. Notice that from left to right on the x-axis, the arrows show a gradient of initial discovery and research to implementation to sales and economic value. The bold lines include categories of the most familiar employers. These employers also follow the arrow gradient. If you want, you can work at a university collecting, organizing, and modeling data for the most recently discovered avian species genome, or you could formulate a chemical pathway model for pharmaceutical, agricultural, or food companies. Many other opportunities exist, including consulting and entrepreneurship or related international organizations. You might ask, what are some of the daily tasks that bioinformaticians need to complete or work on? The left column shows very few of the many tasks an informatics-based bioinformatician is likely to work on, whether it be in a biotech company or related to state and federal agencies. In the right column, we have some conglomerate tasks that are made up of numerous small tasks, many of which are the objectives of biological science-based bioinformaticians. With such a wide opportunity in bioinformatics, it also seems appropriate that there is a need for an extensive variety of skills. Not all of these skills are initially necessary to get started in bioinformatics. The list above includes some useful tools and capabilities that bioinformaticians are often familiar with. Usually, at least a bachelor degree is necessary to pursue a career in bioinformatics. However, a range of different schooling levels are necessary in the network as well. For example, the list on the bottom right shows a few of the different training focuses searched for by biopharmaceutical employers. There are two main backgrounds that produce bioinformaticians, and although there are many other routes and backgrounds, we will focus on these main two. They are biological sciences and informatics. A person with a strong background in biology or chemistry, among other sciences, can acquire the skills to do bioinformatics through formal training or simply work experience in statistics, computer science, or mathematics. The same goes for the reverse situation. One could have previous knowledge in informatics and then receive instruction or learn about biological systems or aspects in question. Both situations would produce outstanding bioinformaticians. Here is an example of a typical bioinformatics work profile. Notice the fast facts on the far right stating the average salary, level of schooling, career category, and amount of job growth opportunity. A bioinformatics career as a pharmacogenomicist is briefly described as applying the knowledge of pharmacology and genomics to study a person's response to pharmaceuticals as determined by their DNA sequence. Imagine this model as a graph chart with an X and Y axes. The X axis specifies the background of a potential bioinformatician with biological and life sciences training on the left and informatics on the right. The y-axis indicates the type of work being done, with data manipulation and collection at the top and modeling and design at the bottom. The angled lines indicate specific jobs within each quadrant. This means that someone in the upper left quadrant would have a formal background in biological sciences and work with data collection or biological database management. Someone in the bottom right quadrant would have an informatics background and model large-scale systems or be involved in statistical analysis. Research and academic institutes have become big players in the employment market as more candidates look to acquire a PhD in some essential research and skills in the hope that it will lead to better opportunities. Candidates can fall anywhere on this figure and see what categories work best for them as individuals. Thank you for listening to this USD Bioinformatics Career Overview course.